what is up guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are all having an amazing saturday hope each and every one of you guys are doing good i don't know if some of you guys are still in quarantine if some of you guys have started working i definitely have started been working already for a while um before we even begin i just want to let you guys know we do stream every tuesday and thursday at twitch.tv slash ignosa uh currently we haven't been the most consistent on that schedule reason being i've been living at work basically literally um now uh obviously you guys can follow me on twitter uh there i actually say when i'm about to go live <clears throat> like a couple of days before I, I all the information if you guys want to keep up with me keep up to you know date twitter is the way to go um as well as all of you guys i have a lot of you guys that have a lot of questions i try to answer all of them on the comments on youtube uh hopefully i'm doing a good job uh, if i haven't answered your the comment please uh you know let me know you guys can hit me back up again i'm so sorry i apologize but i'm pretty sure i answered everybody's uh questions um and comments so go down into the discord below if you guys have any other questions you guys want to go into detail with anything we have a whole discord basically of growing content creators streamers and um other people that are pc enthusiasts or whatever it doesn't matter you don't need to be anything in specific to be in the discord server um but we definitely have people there that are always helping each other out and um, working together to grow um so today's video um it was i was i was gonna do something that had to do with obs um but i had an issue getting some recorder working uh but that video is gonna be coming out soon I, i'm gonna be doing a video basically on what you guys want to focus starting off that your first settings that you want to mess with on obs your first uh uh, how to set up sources how to set up scenes i want to go into detail on the very basic and then from there we're going to start that series but today we're going to start this how-to series the very first video of the how-to series we're going to start it today um and we're going to be talking about audio i just recently picked up this go xlr mini and i had some questions on it that people um asked me um like how do i route audio what does this do what does the routing what does the mixer do how do you set up your mic when you get it and me myself i it was really difficult for me to find a tutorial to cover any of this so i wanted to set up the tutorial myself now that i actually uh, learned how to use the go xlr mini um which this mic is connected to that's how you guys are getting this quality hopefully it sounds a lot better um than the microphones from before than the blue yeti and um it's just a better quality for you guys so uh, i want to let you know how to get your mic to sound like this um if you guys get a road pod mic or it doesn't even have to be this mic any other microphone and uh, so for whoever has a go xlr mini i'm gonna explain to you the ins and the outs um because i definitely did struggle a lot and i don't want you guys to have to go through the same thing uh so let's roll the intro right over here obviously you have your desktop um your apps and stuff like that you have to download the go xlr app um which you can go into their website i believe it's tchelicon.com or something whatever you type in tc helicon on google you're gonna find the website or you can go to their twitter and click on the link there and they'll let you know how to get there um they'll send you it's it basically directs you to their website where you can download the most latest version of the app um, from there i already have the app downloaded i already have my go xlr connected you guys let me know if you want to see a video where i go over in depth basically what connections go where and where everything is connected um but actually i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do a video on how to route every cable and if you're connecting like a console or doing a dual pc setup how to connect that properly i will go in detail for that but also do let me know if that's something you guys really want in the comments if that's something that would be of help to any of you guys um i'd really appreciate that now you're obviously you're gonna open your app it's gonna look something like this if you have the bigger uh, go xlr that's not the mini you're gonna see the full size on the screen uh up top here <clears throat> but right here um you're gonna have some default profiles right from the beginning you're gonna have the red profile the teal blue and the vapor wave these are basically gonna change the colors on this and they're gonna be set they're gonna have all these settings basically by default <clears throat> what you do want to do is click the plus right here and create a new profile um you don't have to, you can start it off at default or whatever current it doesn't matter and just name it uh, i chose to name this one the road pod mic because uh, it's the profile that i'm using with the road pod microphone and uh your profile that's pretty straightforward your profiles are all going to be stored in a folder somewhere um on your pc but you don't really have to worry about that just create the profile and you're started so here um for the mini um for the regular go xlr you might you're gonna have another tab between routing and system i believe it's called sampler um where you get to mess with the samplers and stuff like that that is something that i can still review 
um, in a separate video, even though this Go XLR Mini um, doesn't have a sampler and stuff like that, I can go into detail with that because uh, fortunately enough, I had a friend that has the full Go XLR and he was able to lend me some clip of that sampler part that um, I can cover the full Go XLR in a video and how to connect that properly as well. But that'll be in a separate video. I don't want to clutter too many things into this video, but let's start it off, guys. So here, when you open the application, uh, besides the profile, we already spoke about that. You're gonna have mic, you're gonna have mixer, routing, and system. These are where you're gonna control everything. I, every single one of these tabs are important, so there's not like one tab is more important than the other. Each of them is important. The first thing you wanna do is obviously have your mic connected. After you have your mic connected, you're going to go into what's called a uh, mic setup. Every mic, you wanna do that. You're gonna click mic setup um, here, it will let you know if there's clipping that's occurred. This is because I'm talking kind of like really into it. You would basically uh, control the gain based on like this bar right here. So obviously right now, my microphone is in the good, it's not going, you probably don't want it to go over to the loud, unless you get really loud. Um, even though I got really loud, it didn't go over. You want it to stay in this good, um, just right here. You just want it to be in good. You don't want it to be in low or loud. Um, good is where your microphone is gonna sound the best. Now gain, you'll mess with the gain to, to know how much gain you have to give to your microphone um, and give it a good amount of gain without trying to introduce too much noise, you know, into the microphone. Here you have condenser. Um, my, this microphone is a dynamic microphone, so that's why I have dynamic type here. You have to choose which type of microphone you're using. So you have to know which one you're using. Dynamic microphones do not require phantom power. Um, they don't require power, so you do not have to use condenser plus 48. But if you're using a condenser microphone that does require phantom power, which is 80, uh, 40, I said 84, wow, uh, 48 volts, um, you will choose condenser or any uh, 3.5 uh, microphone that goes into the 3.5 jack port. Now, this is probably going to be your least used one. It's most likely going to be their condenser or dynamic microphone if you want to get that crisp quality. I don't care if you have a condenser microphone or if you have a dynamic microphone, any type of microphone, do not use the cable that is an XLR to 3.5. I don't care if it's an XLR to 3.5, do not use an XLR to 3.5 because you will not get that XLR quality. It doesn't matter if the microphone came with it, it doesn't matter if you already have that cable, you're not using that cable. You need a XLR input into the microphone right here to an XLR and uh, input in the back of the Go XLR Mini. So output of the microphone into the uh, Go XLR Mini. There's no ifs or buts if you want to get that crisp quality. So this is going to be your mic setup. It's going to look the same for every single person. After that, you hit OK. Now, you have gate, equalizer, and compressor. Now, th this can get a little bit complicated for people, um, but I'm going to explain what it is. So threshold. Um, gate, this is kind of like, you know, you've probably heard of noise gates, noise suppressions. This is where this is going to come into play. From personal use, uh, by default, the attenuation is going to be at 100. But for me, it works being at 50 because that way it doesn't um, cut off my voice a lot um, whenever I'm talking. And attack and release, I kind of just left where it's at. I didn't really have to mess with it. But the gate, this threshold this is where you really want to mess with it so if you want to you can start the threshold at max at the top and um, you saw how it just cut me off when I rose it up and then you can start bringing the threshold down little by little and speaking into the microphone at a volume that you would normally talk to if you were streaming if you were recording with the microphone um, and you will continue bringing that threshold down until your voice is being transferred over clearly and it's not being cut out but you're not introducing any background noise into your audio. Now, these um, the Go XLR Mini allows you to monitor your voice in real time. So right now, I can hear what I'm saying every single word instantly. So with that monitor in your headset, you are going to be able to tell um, if you're cutting out at all or anything, and you want to do that. Um, 45 works great for me. It doesn't cut me off or anything. And as well, like if I have an AC on or there's some background noise, it's not picking up everything that's in the background. So whenever I'm streaming, whenever I'm recording this video for you guys, you guys are not hearing every little thing that's happening behind me because it would be annoying for you guys to hear just an AC in the back humming. Like nobody likes to hear that, please guys. So that's basically gonna cover the gate. Now you, you can mess with the amount here because if you like move this, um, this is basically 
the controls this is like if you want to get deeper into the controls this is kind of like just a general knob that will change everything according to the number that's right here but i would always suggest going deeper and never just using that outside number if that makes sense um but that is the gate now equalize it this is where things get a little bit better now uh, you can like again you can mess with these knobs right here but this is going to be very generalized and it's probably not going to be as accurate as we want it to do what you want to do is open that equalizer tab and it's going to be look something like this um you guys are free to copy these exact settings that i have if you want to if you have a dynamic microphone um these settings might work for you um but you can copy these settings if you want to and then adjust them little by little to your liking um to whatever you guys think uh makes sense to you guys um for your voice uh so right now hopefully my voice sounds good this is what i feel like works the best with my voice and that i'm able to portray to you guys the best quality in my voice um i know so these are actually some settings that i was uh one of my boys hooked me up with i was struggling with this go xlr mini a lot at the beginning um usually this is off by default i would click enable fine tune um because that way the software basically tries to fine tune your voice exactly what it says these equalizers are going to be at different numbers me personally i haven't went too crazy with the numbers you can play around with them if you want but i feel like when you move these sliders right here to these specific numbers um unless you are a professional and knowing how to eq things eq music and stuff like that I would probably put it at these exact same numbers so that you guys can uh, mess with it afterwards. So these two sliders over here, the dark ones, um, are going to be mainly in control of your bass. So that's how much like bass you have in your voice. Like, you know, hello, you can sound um, without sounding so tinny and getting a good amount of bass presence in your voice. These two sliders in the middle are going to be uh, what controls the mids in your voice. So all the mids in your voice, um, which is usually the point where the vocals get very muddy, are right at the mids. So you probably want to not have too much mids. You probably want to lower some of those mids, which is what I did over here. So that way my voice can come on a little bit clearer. Now, in conjunction to this, since uh, you're lowering your two sliders in the middle, uh, which are your mids, these two on your right, obviously being the higher end, are basically your treble it's like a treble boost so you have like bass think of it like bass boost mid boost treble boost now the mids that's where it gets muddy you want to lower that down the bass it's your preference if you rather have more presence of a bass or you rather have less bass in your voice um everybody's voice is different so that depends on you for me it works having just slightly a little bit more uh bass so the microphone can pick up my voice really well here i increase the treble by a little bit these two sliders these are the exact numbers um this is what works the best for me um and that's how you guys are getting this audio that i'm getting to so this basically this equalizer the way i set it up here creates a, a wavelength kind of like this so you have bass goes down for the mids and then goes back up with the treble so you have kind of like this nice wave and it, it portrays your voice throughout um the whole mixer and to your broadcast your videos nice and smoothly now there's some numbers that you can adjust with to your liking um, but you're more than free to copy the numbers out here. These are the settings that I feel like I found that are the best after messing with it for a while. Um, and yeah, now we're going to move on to the compressor. Compressors basically, whenever you get loud, you know, your, your, your mic can clip and that's like, it's very unpleasant for your viewers or your audience if they're ever watching a video or anything and your microphone is clipping in their ear because it is really painful. That's like when you make a loud noise and it just goes over the level that the microphone can handle. So the compressor is basically going to prevent. So when you get really loud, prevent you from killing your audience's ears, basically. So the compressor, this is what I found that works best for me and my voice. Um, what you want to do with the threshold is probably start it right at the top. Um, and you want to start bringing it down. Like you want to you want to get like not as loud as you can be, but as loud as you will be whenever you're talking to your stream or whenever you're doing a video how you're going to be talking talk to the level that you're going to be talking and you bring that on that threshold until you find the point where your mic is not clipping peaking and obviously you're not going to yell into the microphone but where it's not clipping and it's not cutting off your voice either and it's suppressing it uh correctly now remember your, the compressor will be cutting your voice in half like i believe every six decibels that you bring it down 
um so you you, you don't want to cut too much because you don't want to lose like you you can keep coming down because there comes to a point when you bring down the compressor you'll see i'm gonna do an example for you guys one it, like you can continue bringing the threshold down to the point where um once you hear that like it's changing like it's affecting your microphone or your voice level then you want to stop like if i go down and go like this and go like this and go like this you guys can probably barely hear me anymore until i bring it back over here that's where you guys can hear me again so that's why 10 works for me but for some people you can bring it down lower stuff like that but the lower you bring it it's going to cut out your voice more and obviously if you put it all the way on the bottom like nobody's going to be able to hear you the ratio i didn't touch left it at 4 1 attack on just one release 100 milliseconds and the makeup gain too makeup gain you don't want to go too crazy because if you bring it up too high like your mic is going to do like this weird screeching because it's going to pick up literally it's going to be so sensitive it's going to pick up every little noise around you like you probably blink and it didn't you can hear your blink I'm not even being sarcastic i'm being serious i'm not going to do it because this is really going to hurt your ears if i bring that up but you only want to add this like if your mic is sounding a little bit quiet you can add a little bit of that makeup gain and that is due to the uh built-in uh preamp that the go xlr mini has it's so powerful so many tools this is the reason why they're so good at what they're doing um so yeah now we're done with the mic tab we're gonna move on to the mixer tab so now we're moving on to the mixer tab we're in the mixer tab um here this is where a lot of the magic happens it's between the mixer and the routing the routing is gonna be really simple we're gonna get to that um through quickly but the mixer this is where a lot of the magic happens now you have your faders you have the mute you have your mixer and your headphones so you have your different channels these are the different types of things that you can mix into your mixer so you have mic obviously you have four only four faders at a time on the go xlr mini but you can change it to any of these you can prioritize those mixers into any of these you have mic your chat music and game these four right here are actually the ones that i use the most and um uh, console I use only when I like if I turn on my ps4 I'll, I, I can still I can control this individually for the console without having to attach it to one of these sliders but you can't you have that flexibility of basically making instead instead of this being a system slider make it the console slider um, instead of it being a music slider I can make it the line in so you can use any of these but the reason that this is here the way it is is because even if you have four things attached to four sliders you're not limited to four sources you still have one two three uh, four um yeah basically like four other sources that you guys can um still mess with to route audio in, in other ways and that makes a ton of a difference so you have uh, obviously your bleep um because this does have this built-in button right here so if you ever curse and stuff like that you can go ahead and be like and that's basically the bleep level you know it's for for giggles you know what i'm saying um obviously you have your headphones uh, if you click over here, this is the mic mod that I was talking about. I have it on 85 because I can still hear myself and I'm not driving myself crazy. If you have it on 100, you're going to hear your voice a lot. So the louder you have the mic slider over here, the louder you're going to hear yourself in your monitor and the louder your people, uh, your chat and stuff are going to hear you and stream. So channel one, I have this set to microphone. You can set these channels to whatever sources you want. You don't have to follow what I have. I'm just showing you how I have it and just giving you the overall idea on how it works so channel one i have my microphone there that's where i control my mic volume the louder i move the slider like i said um the louder that basically my microphone is gonna sound my chat is gonna hear me louder my stream is gonna hear me louder it's just gonna be louder overall now that is very self-explanatory i have this set of mute mute all so that way when i hit the mute button right here on the actual um go xlr mini it's gonna basically mute everything. It's gonna mute my voice to the stream. It's gonna mute my voice to the to my chat. It's gonna mute the voice to all the ports in the entire mixer. So no, nobody's gonna be able to hear me. And that's the point. You don't need your teammates to hear you stream or something. That's like if you need to mute, your mom walks into the room, you're having a conversation, somebody walks in, or you just wanna mute yourself for a second. Um, you're able to go ahead and do that. Now, you are able to set it, let's say to mute stream. That's kind of like if when you hit the mute button, you don't want your stream to hear you, but you still want your teammates to hear you. Um, you can do that. Um, if you do mute to voice chat, basically you can mute, um, when you mute the mic, your stream will still be able to hear you, but your chat, your, your people you're playing with won't be able to hear you, your teammates. Um, so you can mess with that to however you want, um, your liking. Uh, you see how it says mute to phone and stuff like that? It's cause the back of the Go XLR Mini, this is why I said I'm going to do that in a separate video. I'm going to go over what each port does. And then that way you guys can use this video and that video to your advantage to fully understand that, um, 
the mute of phones and line out is because this has a line in and line out and if you can you can actually have your phone as line in so whatever audio is playing from your device your phone um you can actually hear it on your headsets but your stream and everybody else will hear it unless you like mute it to them specifically um but yeah that's my microphone channel two i have voice chat that's basically where my teammates are so like if i have discord open if i have basically youtube not Discord, uh, I mean YouTube. If I have Discord open, I have like the Xbox uh, companion app right here and I'm talking to somebody in an Xbox party or any type of basically chat, um, TeamSpeak, uh, chatting software, basically I will route it specifically to here um, and that's how I'll be able to hear my stream. Basically, sliders up, slider down. If I raise up the slider, really simple, I'll be able to hear them more. If I slide it down, I hear the voice less. I have it set to mute all because that way when I mute them, let's say I'm trying to say something to the stream. I don't want the chat to, to interrupt. I don't want me to interrupt them. I just mute them. It mutes them to me, mutes them to the stream, it mutes them to everything. So chat won't hear them or anything. If they're too loud, I can bring them down and still keep my game volume up and keep my voice up in situations like that. So you have free control of basically controlling every ounce of audio in your stream and videos. So that's what channel two is now channel two um sometimes i'll switch it to console that's like if i'm talking to um like players on the ps4 if i'm playing on my ps4 versus my pc and i'm using my microphone i'll switch it to console so that way i can speak with them and have control that of that in the slider but i don't essentially have to put that on the second slider i can leave voice chat on my second channel but this is why i was saying they give you they have other options even though you have four sliders you have all of this in the mixer because that way i can control my console volume put my ps4 to max which you know it's really loud um whatever volume and even though it's not attached to here i'm still controlling my voice in the console or like my teammates voice from there and it's not taking up space on the mixer itself so it's really cool uh, my channel three is set to music and basically with music you are able to attach anything so if you're playing music from spotify apple music um any basically audio source that you want to route specifically to that tab so you have individual control of that one you're able to attach it to there a uh, music i have it to mute all i use mute all a lot because it's just really simple you hit mute and it mutes it from from everything which is what works for me for me but for each individual source like i said you have the either the mute to stream mute to your teammate you are able to do um you have full control over that if you guys want me to go more in detail with that because i don't want to make this video super super long it's already going to be long enough um i can go in depth with that on a separate video which i am going to have to go and do a separate video because some of you guys are going to ask me well how do you route um spotify how do you write uh itunes how do you route all of those audios to that specific channel for music and um i'm going to answer that in that video because i had to struggle with that and now i finally understand how to route audio from specific apps that don't allow you to change uh, the output or input in the app to that and i'm going to cover that in a separate video as soon as i can but this is just overall basically give you, generalizing this on how to use this um you have channel three obviously you can switch it either to your line in headphones and stuff like that but i keep it to music channel four i have it as my system your system audio is basically going to be anything any type of audio that's running through your pc whether it be um your game you can have it there whether you're watching YouTube and you want the stream to hear uh, what you guys are watching together on YouTube. Anything that goes through your PC um, will be heard through there. And you can either have it again to mute. Also, if I mute that, I don't want them to hear what's going on in my computer. Uh, nobody will be able to hear it. Um, and that, Or you can have it that you could hear and they can't hear it, etc. Yada, yada, yada. You guys can uh, go ahead and situate that. Now, obviously, since you have music routed to the music tab, you have your chat to your chat, that does not affect your system. So even if you put your system on zero, your system audio on zero, that's not gonna affect your music. You're still gonna be able to hear it. That's not gonna affect your chat. You're still gonna be able to talk to your teammates. It's not gonna affect that at all. All right, so great. So we have that there and you have your sources right here, your four channels, one, two, three, four. Um, how you wanna mute, you prioritize that. And then you have basically the volume for everything. Cause you essentially have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, different basically parts of the mixer um but in order for them to be cost effective um they only have four sliders so imagine this having eight sliders and then being a big piece of equipment the price would be a lot more expensive than it is um but you in total have eight sliders um just the other four are imaginary that's why you're able to switch in and out allocate them however you want now in terms of lighting it's really simple you can go to whatever channel you want um the bottom color which would be this so basically the bottom of the slider when you slide up when the when it gets to the higher point um the top color 
would be this right here it's really self-explanatory you choose whatever color it is you can hit apply also that all the faders are the same or you can have in the different color for each individual slider i like to keep everything um in unison because ocd apply to all that's what i do and the reason i hit meter because this is going to be like on gradient by default and gradient is basically on the on these tabs right here it's going to leave them just like this like you see in the picture but for my mixer um when i have meter basically none of these lights are actually filling the the, the actual mixer up and I'll, I'll show you guys what i mean on a separate video i won't forget don't worry um so every time i talk it, you kind of see like whenever you have the equalizers like the thing just moves up and down the bars as you talk it goes up and down when you stop talking it just goes straight black that's what meter is hopefully that that makes sense um now we're gonna move on to routing this is gonna be really simple this is where the magic 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 happens obviously your mic this is basically everywhere that the routing is basically where your inputs are these that are right here your inputs are these your output that's basically all these inputs where do you want that audio to go it's routing whatever it is um obviously your microphone you want it to be if in your headphones because um that's only if you want to monitor your voice let's say you don't want to hear yourself while you talk you disable that like right now i cannot hear my microphone at all in my headset i can't hear my voice anymore if i check it back on i can hear my voice in my headsets um and i can hear that monitor now if you want to control your uh, your headphone level because the monitor is too high like i told you you go to headphones right here mic monitor and you can raise and lower the volume to your liking okay so now broadcast stream mix um, you want to have that check because basically you want your stream to be able to hear your microphone I'm going to go over a video on how to set up your audio for OBS Because some people don't know how to properly set this software to work with OBS And then you'll run into issues like echoing or your teammates can't hear you You can't hear your teammates and stuff like that I'm going to cover that on a separate video as well So you have your headphones um, You have this check because you want your stream to hear you you have your line out um okay so and for every single input line out is only if you have like a second pc setup or if you're grabbing audio from another device to bring it back into this mixer so that the stream can hear it necessarily you don't need to have line out checked um i just have it checked on everything because like i just have it like that by default i just you know i like the way the graph looks and it looks nice but line out unless you're using the line out port you don't need to have it checked in but if you want to be like me have it like that you can have everything checked because this is what works for me obviously you have check mic you need to have that checked if you want your teammates to hear you if you want to be able to use your mic for, for everything like this has to be checked or your microphone won't work for any like discord none of that they won't be able to hear you you need to have all of these checked now you have chat this is your chat obviously this is your you have your headphones checked because you want to be able to hear your chat you have your broadcast stream mix checked because you want your stream to hear what you're hearing in your headset your teammates and then you um line out i already explained to you guys what that is the reason this chat mic is grayed out is because go xlr the tc helicon they, they were nice they were smart enough to leave that grayed out so people didn't run into issues where they had their teammates echoing back or stuff like that because you don't need why would you need your teammates to hear themselves you, you don't need that check now music you have the headphones because obviously you need to hear your music broadcast stream so the stream can hear your music line out i already explained what it was now this one uh this is something cool that you can do with the mixer now this is a feature that um you know you use at your discretion you know ask your teammates because it can get a little bit annoying to them but if you are playing some music and your teammates decide they want to hear some music with you they want to hear the same music with you um whatever you're playing they want to hear it with you you're able to check this box and if i'm playing music from itunes whether it be spotify itunes whatever music source if i check this little box my teammates will be able to hear music with me at the same time so whatever i play on spotify whatever they're going to be able to hear it i can raise the volume here don't blast their ears if you raise the volume really high they're going to complain um but always ask because you know this is something that could annoy your teammates and they can get mad at you because you're always playing music in their ears now if you want to listen to music by yourself you go ahead like this you'll hear your music no matter what you can check this if you want them to hear music with you now game um i don't really ever use this input i don't think anybody does even if you have a console or something like that um, uh, you don't really use this one the game this is going to be used more if you're doing a dual pc setup which i'm going to cover in a separate video um and this is basically going to be routing audio from your second pc and your main pc and make sure that both audios are being captured into your stream into your headphones and um the line out obviously capturing from the other pc that's if you have one specifically for gaming and one for streaming which is not necessary nowadays but if you are somebody that's power hungry and you absolutely need that i'm going to cover that in another video we have a lot of videos coming guys i know next tab is console 
I'm gonna show you guys how to get all of this connected on a separate video, everything how it gets connected. Console would be basically your Xbox or your PlayStation if they're connected. You wanna hear obviously your system. You want your stream to hear whatever the system is outputting. And line out would be if you had a specific system. Oh, line out, actually you need to have this um, because in order to connect your system, if you wanna use the same microphone that you're using here on your stream so people on the console could hear you, you need to have like a chat splitter uh, with an aux cable and stuff like that, which is something I'm gonna cover in that specific video where I go in depth with the ports. Now you have line in. Um, line in, that's only like if you're routing audio, like I said, from a second PC or a different source like your phone or something, and you're using the line in port, um, self-explanatory, this is your headphones, your stream, uh, your line in, and this is like your chat. This, this you're not really probably gonna, gonna have this check because it's gonna cause echo. You don't really use this much down here because this is what basically is going to be played back um like somebody will hear be able to hear it again the only tabs that the only time you're really going to use chat mic is going to be obviously you keep it on mic on music if you want your teammates to hear it and on system you check system um down here um obviously you have your headsets headphones checked you have your broadcast stream up to, so they can hear whatever your computer is going this like i said is to route audio in a different way and explain another video and then this chat mic right here you would click it and your teammates are actually like if you play youtube or you play anything on your computer any sound that's on your computer they'll be able to hear it as well with you like i said if there's something that you need to show them for a quick second do it but i don't think they want to hear everything that goes through your computer like if you're playing youtube on the side while the, the game is loading up with them they, they, they don't want to hear that please don't annoy your teammates so just leave that on check you can check it if you need to have them hear something real quick for like memes whatever and giggles you know, I didn't want to say the word, so that's why I used the sensor button. Um, and then this is the sample. This sample section is for people that have the Go XLR, the full one that has the sample on the side, um, which I'm going to show that basically how that sample thing works <clears throat> in a separate video. But basically that sampler, um, you guys can record stuff on the sampler, play it back and stuff like that. Same thing. You hear it in your headsets. Your stream hears it. This is for routing audio between like two PCs or another outside external audio source. Um, and getting that audio in there and then if you hit here obviously the chat mic that's how your teammates will hear whatever your sample is playing so, so if you have a funny meme uh recorded on one of those samplers you are able to check this and make your whole team laugh and stuff like that but don't overdo it and last but not least we're going into system obviously you have your mic set up we already went over that at the beginning tutorial um i don't know how helpful that is i never used that <clears throat> help and support it will take you to the page to their page or about go xlr will take you to the page third party info there's nothing these are just like stuff that they add you know like paperwork like blah, blah, blah. um your analytics if you want to go over that nobody ever uses any of these except the only things you're probably going to be using are the global settings and software updates you hit software updates it checks for update my device is up to date always keep everything up to date but you can set it up in settings right here so that it automatically uh no i believe by default it automatically checks for updates every time you open the application so if there's a software update it'll do it and you know tc helicon is really good at keeping everything up to date and make sure that this mixer is working and that there aren't any glitches as well obviously here in settings you can go to lighting and same thing your bleep button would be this one the cursing one your cough button would be this one right here you could change the colors um if obviously i'm gonna hit this one right here the cough button if i press it you guys are not gonna be able to hear me um it does turn a different color which is not gonna show it here um but you have your accents which are basically this up here the colors that, that, that illuminate on the side and like this right over here on the bottom these mute buttons and then you have global if you change any color global that's basically gonna change everything into one single color but you can put global change everything to one single color and then go into the mixer and individually change the color of like utility slider and stuff like that and that's how you can get everything fully customized to your liking um last thing when you go to global settings this is you have like profile path you can hit here and this is where you can see where you have your profile your presets your icon so if you have the this is more helpful when you have the full go xlr mini because these are actual like little lcd displays that you can actually change the logos the design the color and stuff like that like whatever you want to show right there that's where you get that whole um icon thing presets um profiles that's obviously where your profiles are saved and your samples are there too um they did add stream deck integration so if you have an elgato stream deck you're able to connect it through here through the stream deck app and you're able to add on um, like uh specific cues um you're able to add specific uh 
I don't know, whatever you can do with the stream deck, get creative with it. Um, it has integration now with the Go XLR menu, so it makes stuff even a lot easier. If you have the full Go XLR, obviously you have faders that are mechanical, they move um, by themselves. So if you move it here, they'll move there. Um, the Go XLR mini to be more cost effective, they don't have those mechanical sliders, but the mini is amazing. Like you don't, you don't have to spend the $400 price tag for the full Go XLR mini. Um, uh, for the full Go XLR, sorry. The Go XLR Mini is only going to be $250 and it's going to make a day and night difference for you guys. I'm going to leave the link both to the full Go XLR and the Go XLR Mini. Good luck finding them because they've been really back ordered, but I'm going to leave those links down there so you guys can get them. Um, and I'm also going to leave a link to their official uh, website, TC Helicon. Um, so you guys have all those resources there for you guys. I remove this lock fader position to label outputs because that way it, um, you want to remove this uh, basically by default um, because if you have this right here, what, what that does when you click that and you go back to mixers, you're not it's not going to allow you to switch this to whatever mixer point you want. So like you see how this is labeled mic, it's going to keep that on mic. If this is labeled chat, it's going to keep that on chat. So you're not going to be able to like put console where the chat one is and stuff like that, etc. Obviously, just because it says chat doesn't mean you can't put the console one there. It's just that the, just to save money, it doesn't have the LCD screen like the full Go XLR. So those are like pre-labels that are there. That is what's most used. Um, this gets with there. Um, for the most part, I hope all of this made sense. That pretty much covers. Um, that pretty much covers basically our whole audio setup here, guys. Um, I honestly hope that did make sense. That covers everything. If you guys have any other further questions, like I said, I am gonna cover uh, other uh, videos in terms of audio, like on where you connect each port, how to route something specifically, like when I was talking about through the line out, that dual PC uh, setup um, for streaming or video recording, whatever you need that dual PC setup for. I'm gonna go into detail with that and so many more tech videos. This is the beginning of the how to NOSA guide videos. Any how to's are gonna be in this playlist and we're gonna, you know, just go full throttle now with this. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys enjoyed the content for whatever reason, if you have a Go XLR Mini, this helped you, or this even by any chance helped you understand audio, period. Um, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and hit the notification bell icon to know when we do go and update a video, um, which we do have a consistent video every Saturday uh, with additional videos that I plan on um, adding and, make, and dropping more videos more often as well before Saturdays, probably two days a week, um, but we'll see. Uh, what we can do to push those videos but without further ado thank you guys for watching this video i appreciate each and every one of you guys whatever you guys none of this would be possible and um yeah this has been signosa thank you guys for watching the video and peace out